Barwon Hill Station in Brisbane. Twenty ninth of July, twenty twenty two. Three trains here at the moment. Everyone's leaving over there. I'm about to uh, go and check out the first of the abandoned stations I'm going to be covering today. Very short distance from here. There's a lot of trains everywhere here today. There we go. Across here, and we see the uh, line through uh, on the, the loop line that goes to Roma Street through uh, the uh, exhibition grounds area. Other train departing at NGR, and right behind uh, where you see the where it's going under the bridge is the former railway station at Main. It's an M A Y N E. Try and get a slightly closer look at it. Now. Just another quick look at this. Uh, very busy Bowen Hills Railway Station with a few trains coming and going. And I think it's going to be very difficult to even get to that uh, abandoned railway station I was telling you about, which is called Main. It's just about impossible to get over there and get a photo of this uh, station. Anyway, there goes a train going past the, the, what is left of the platform. And incidentally, it might only be literally 10 feet of the platform. And that uh, bridge was obviously put in there after the closure of that platform, and it really only served the uh, main carriage sidings in the yard there you can barely see behind you on this quick view of this platform as I said it was only a matter of a few feet in length. Departing the South Bank and looking out for the platform at Gloucester Street. This is a uh, dual gauge, a standard gauge on 346 on the right hand side there. The next station is Park Road. Customers for the Beanley or Gold Coast lines, please change trains at Park Road.
approaching the site very shortly. There's the remains of the station there, almost undiscernible. They're arriving in uh, Park Road. Let's see if I can make my way back to the area to get a photo of it. I've arrived in Park Road and there's six platforms here. Four for trains, known as Park Road, and two for buses called Boggo Road. Going over to catch a bus, go to University Lakes, have a look at that. In the meantime though, waiting on this train to depart and the search to get to these uh, abandoned stations is very difficult. Hey, I'm looking down towards Salisbury Railway Station. You can barely see a footbridge over the line there. Three tracks here, one of them is dual gauge. Now of interest here is this uh, abandoned station here. Nyanda, it's the only one I've been able to catch up with this morning where you can actually get public access to it. It is very, very close to Salisbury, so it's one of the reasons for closure. Secondly, there's no, there's no real way to extend the platforms anyway, and it's an it's industrial area, and there's not that much around here in the way of housing. So that's the only station I've been able to get close to to get a video of. It's just before you reach Salisbury Station from Brisbane. You can see this remaining platform. Well, um, it is the 29th of July 2022 and here's a, a photo from online of the Gloucester Street Railway Station which is long closed now and I'm going to attach a little bit of history about some of these railway stations that I attempted to find and I say attempted because uh, I tried to get to the former main M-A-Y-N-E railway station in Brisbane out near just a little bit further up the track than Bowen Hills and you've got no road access to it and it's underneath a bridge. There's only maybe literally 10 or 12 feet of, of the former platform still there. So I filmed past, proceeded past the uh, mound that was was the former platform site for for uh, Gloucester Street, which is shown here as the steam train in, in, in the station. And then uh, went, proceeded down eventually to uh, Salisbury where the remains of the Nyanda station are actually quite easy to to get to. And uh, you can literally take movies at the level crossing there at uh, Salisbury to get film the remains of that particular station. So uh, it was not quite fruitless, but a very difficult little uh, venture today. Uh, but anyway, I hope that uh, um, if you look up where these places are, as I've just actually described them. And you can't see much of Bowen Hills with the, as I said, uh, the main station. And the only one w that is accessible, as I just mentioned, is Nyanda. It's only about a few minutes walk, really, maybe not even a kilometre from uh, Salisbury Station. And you can continue on as I did, and got a, you can get a bus actually uh, beyond that point to go to other places, or you can walk back to the station. So the idea is. Somebody out there might be interested in making a um, video 
a uh, documentary, shall we say, of closed railway stations uh, around Brisbane. A sort of a then and now book and or DVD would be more likely uh, to be a, a, some quite considerable interest actually to railway enthusiasts. Uh, so uh, I just thought I'd plant this idea in people's minds to have a go at actually achieving that kind of a project. So thanks very much for viewing.